Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we are going to create 3D Paint lower third animations in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. This will be a step by step guide perfect even for absolute beginners. This is the first part of the series where we will focus on designing the lower thirds. In the final part, I will also show you how to turn these animations into presets or templates, making them super easy to use in your video editing projects. So this is Vikas Kumar from Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's open DaVinci Resolve and get started all right so this is DaVinci Resolve 20 the all-new version and before we start all you have to do the basic setting first so click on this setting button in the corner and this is the project setting window here we have to set the timeline resolution you can select the resolution 1920 by 1080 which is a full HD resolution but if you want to create this animation in 4k you can select this option ultra HD and this is the timeline frame rate select this option 24 frame per second which is good enough leave the other setting as it is click on save once done let's create a new fusion composition so just go to the media pool if you don't have this media pool click on this media pool button right click on that click on new fusion composition and this is the fusion composition setting so i'm going to call it uh, lower third zero one Duration make it 8 second long which is good enough for one animation in and out and this is the frame rate so I'm going to select the 24 frame per second click on create and this is the fusion composition drag and drop on the timeline and then just go to fusion page and here we have this media out node so just drag this media out to the side for now we will use this media out at the end of this animation if you are not familiar with this fusion page let me tell you this is the flow window and this is the preview window so all the connection we will do in this flow window and we will take a look of that connections right here in this preview window sometime it will show two different windows so you can simply click on this button and make it single all right because we need only one viewer at this time perfect now let's start by creating a background node so this is the background drag and drop right here if you want to rename these node right click on that click on rename or you can also click on f2 on the keyboard to rename the node all right it's very simple now drag and drop the background node to the viewer and as you can see this is a black background but we need to change the color of this background so just go to inspector window and here we have the color click on that and select this white color perfect now let's take a polygon node so here we have some mask node so this is the polygon we will use this polygon at this time and connect the polygon with this background we have a pre-attached animation with the polygon as you can see here we have an icon of the keyframe so we need to remove this keyframe first just go to inspector window and right click on this text click on remove polygon one polyline and now we will create a fresh new animation so first of all we need to turn on the guide so just right click on this preview window go to guide and turn on this guide you can also hit ctrl z to turn on the guide and then you can zoom in the preview window by holding ctrl and scroll up and now i'm going to create a line so this is the plus sign as you can see place the plus sign right here and click on left mouse button add a point right here and then hold shift on the keyboard and click on this point as well and make it a straight line perfect and after that we need to do some setting with this polygon so select the polygon and go to inspector window this is the solid uncheck this option and this is the border width let's increase the border width and set the value 0 0.005 perfect and here we have an option for flat uh, tip so click on this option and now you can see here we have a flat tip right here all right and then we need to animate the line it's very simple just go to frame number 30 which is approx one second and here we have this length right click on length click on animate or you can also click on the diamond button to create a keyframe it's very easy to add a keyframe and then just go to very first frame of this animation let's set the length value zero so now we have this kind of animation and then just go to frame number 155 and here we have the length just add a keyframe 
on frame number 155 just go to 30 frame forward in time maybe frame number 185 and this is the length let's set the length value 0 all right so this is the animation in and this is the animation out but if you play the animation this is a linear animation as you can see so make it smoother it's very simple just go to spline window hit f4 on the keyboard to full screen check this option length click on fit button and here we have all the keyframes uh, if you want to make animation smoother it's a very simple process highlight these two keyframes first hit s on the keyboard to smooth and this is the smooth button as well so if you don't want to click shortcut key you can click on this button and repeat the same thing at the end highlight these two keyframe hit s to smooth and now we will create a nice smooth curve so what we have to do so the easiest way you can place the cti at very beginning of this animation maybe at the first keyframe highlight this point hold this handle and make it smooth graph just like this and repeat the same thing for this one so place the cti at the end highlight this point hold this handle and create a nice a smooth curve it's very simple perfect and then you can uncheck the polygon and close the window and if you play the animation now we have a smooth animation and now we need to create a duplicate of these two nodes so highlight these node hit ctrl c to copy hit ctrl v to paste and we need to rename these nodes properly so this will be background 2 so hit f2 on the keyboard and i'm going to call it background 2 and this will be polygon 2 perfect drag and drop the second background to the viewer and i'm going to change the color of this background so select the background and this is the color select any color that you like i'm going to select this neon green hit ok and we will change some setting with this polygon too so select the polygon just go to frame number 30 where we have created a keyframe you can see the white mark here place the cdi right here and this is the length value let's down the length value just a little bit maybe 0.6 i guess yeah 0.6 is good and just go to the another keyframe which is 155 so just place the cdi and i'm gonna set the length value 0.6 all right so basically we will have something like this perfect and we will do one more thing we will create a delay between uh, both the animations so just go to spline window hit f4 and here we have the polygon 1 and polygon 2 so this is the position of polygon 1 you can check here as you can see so uncheck the polygon 1 because we don't need it check the polygon 2 click on fit button we have uh, the animation from 0 to 30 so i'm going to place the keyframes six frames forward in time so i'm going to go to the frame number 36 right here this is the 36 frame number highlight these two keyframes hold shift and move it right here and similarly we need to move the end keyframe six seconds back in time so right here this is frame number 155 just go to six second back in time maybe 149 and highlight these two keyframes hold shift and move it right here um, if you want to merge both the outputs either you can take a new merge node and connect yellow background point with this background one and green foreground point with this background two and drag and drop the merge to the viewer or you can simply connect the output of this foreground with the background output so this is a very easy way to merge two different outputs it is looking like this as you can see after that what we have to do this is the text node drag and drop on the flow window i'm gonna merge this text with this main output i'm gonna use this text as a foreground and this one as a background so connect the output of this foreground with the background and we will get a new merge drag and drop the merge to the viewer select the text and type anything whatever you like just like this and i'm gonna use a font style babish new pro you can use any different font style that you like i'm gonna select the style regular let's increase the size of the text 
and we can do one thing here we have edge anchor just click on the left so all the text will align on the left side and i'm going to set the value 0 0.18 all right and then i'm going to set the text right here perfect so hold control and scroll up to zoom in and you can place the text according to the guide so this is the text we will create one more text so simply i'm going to copy this text hit control c to copy click here hit control v connect the output of this text with the merge and we will get a new merge drag and drop to the viewer select the second text and type a different uh, text which is going to be the subtext so i'm going to type motion designer perfect and after that i'm going to place this text right here and obviously we will down the size of this text so let's set the value 0.1 perfect and this is the style i'm going to set it to middle or maybe book perfect let's drag it up a little bit perfect so basically we have this kind of text after that we need to animate the text so it's very simple just take a rectangle mask this is the rectangle attach the rectangle with the text one first and do the setting with the rectangle just increase the width of this rectangle i'm going to set the value one in the inspector window let's set the height of this rectangle maybe 0.35 perfect and place the rectangle just like this we have to repeat the same thing for this one so select the rectangle hit ctrl c hit ctrl v to paste and attach this second rectangle with the second text and similarly just drag these rectangle and place the upper boundary of this rectangle on the line right here and now we can animate the text so select the text one just go to layout and here we have the center we will animate this center First of all, just go to frame number 30, which is approximately one second. Right click on center, click on animate, lock the position as it is. Just go to very first frame of this animation. And this is the Y position, which is the center Y. Just drag it down and move it right here. I'm going to set the value 0.3. So if you play the animation, it will look like this. All right. So here we have the in animation and we need to create the outer animation as well. So just go to frame number 150 and lock the position as it is by clicking on this diamond button of the center and just go to 30 frame forward in time, maybe on frame number 180. And again, you can drag it down and set the value 0.3. So it will look like this. This is the animation in and the animation out. It's very nice and then repeat the same thing for the second one so select the second text go to frame number 30 go to layout and this is the center x right click on center x click on animate go to very first frame of this animation let's drag it up i'm going to set the value 0.6 here and we will create the animation out as well so just go to frame number 150 lock the position and go to 30 frame forward in time on the frame number 180 move it up i'm going to set the value 0.6 so this is the animation in and the animation out all right and now we will create a smooth animation for both the text so just go to spline window hit f4 on the keyboard to full screen uh, we don't need the polygon so uncheck the polygon and here we have the text one and two we will do one by one so uncheck the text two and check the text one only click on fit button Highlight both the keyframes, hit S to smooth, highlight these two, hit S to smooth. Place the CTI at the very beginning of this animation, highlight this keyframe, hold this handle and place it right here. And repeat the same thing for this one, highlight this point, hold this handle and place it right here. So we have this smooth animation. And repeat the same thing for text 2. Perfect. Now you can close the spline window and we can do one thing. 
we can manage the length of the line so this is the line one background one select this option sorry we have to select this polygon one and just go to the keyframe where we have created the keyframe so just go to the frame number 30 where we have created a keyframe let's set the length value maybe 0.7 and just go to the another keyframe on the frame number 155 and let's set the value 0.7 perfect and now you can see here we have this type of lower third animation and we will create one more animation so select the merge 3 add a transform node with it drag and drop the transform to the viewer and what we have to do just go to frame number 40 just go to inspector window select the transform node this is the pivot i'm gonna set the pivot value either you can set it in this corner or maybe in this corner so i'm gonna place this right here perfect and then if you increase the size it will look like this so i'm gonna animate the size of this uh, transform so just go to frame number 40 right click on size click on animate just go to half a second forward in time which is equal to 12 frames so um, 40 plus 12 is equal to 52 right here let's increase the size 1.05 and repeat the same thing at the end so what we have to do just go to frame number maybe 135 click on this diamond button go to 12 frame forward in time which is going to be 150 oh sorry 147 and let's set the value to default all right so we will get this type of zoom in and zoom out animation now make it smoother so just go to a spline window hit f4 on the keyboard uncheck all the nodes check the transform click on fit button highlight these two keyframes hit s and hold this point hold this handle and set it like this repeat the same thing and just place this right here all right now you can close the spline window and the animation is almost ready just click on fit button and here we have the lower third all right and now you can connect the media out at the end of this animation and then go to the edit page and here we have the lower third so if you want to use this animation as a lower third select the fusion composition go to inspect window and this is the zoom you can down the size of the lower third according to you maybe 0.5 and this is the position i'm gonna change the position of the lower third in this corner so i'm gonna place this animation in bottom left corner perfect so now you can see here we have nice and simple lower third animation perfect uh, if you want to use this lower third on a video you need to place this uh, on the top layer and you can place the video clip in the bottom layer so just import a video clip drag and drop the video on the timeline i'm gonna flip this up and now you can see here we have nice and simple lower third animation And finally, this is looking amazing, right? This was the first design. Check out the link in the description for the other parts of this series. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you like it. For more such videos, subscribe to this channel, like this video and also comment below what you think about it. My name is Vikas Kumar and I will see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.